What's going on, socialites? Welcome back to another Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle. Happy Labor Day to all of our American viewers and to the rest of our viewers around the globe. Glad to have you with us, as always. It's week one of a new season, season six for the GPS. And that means we get to see these two teams in action for the first time. We have the Vero Beach Volcarona taking on the Waco Scizors. Waco looking to bounce back after returning to the society last season, but coming in second to last in the society, while Vero is looking to have another solid performance, make the playoffs once again, maybe even capitalize on that and make a deep run. Let's look at Vero's team. We have Mewtwo, Cinderace, Tapu Koko, Oranguru, Azelf, and Alolan Raichu, while the Waco Scizors Bring Kyogre, Zapdos, Kingdra, Scizor, Seismitoad, and Decidueye. This is a best two out of three. So we'll have to see what strategies the teams employ in the first game. And then how they decide to counteract those later. Ooh, and we're gonna see Kingdra and Kyogre from Waco, as well as Tapu Koko and Alolan Raichu come out for the Vero Beach Volcarona. So the Rain Core of Waco versus the Electric Terrain Core of Vero. We'll have to see, did Waco bring Seismitoad to counter these electric types? Definitely some key switch outs or protects in this situation will help. Looks like Vero is playing their attack, so we'll have to see what Waco goes for here. Waco trying to figure out what they want to do. And Rising Voltage takes out Kingdra there. Ooh, and the Wild Charge from Tapu, Tapu Koko is enough to take out Kyogre. So one turn, two KOs. That puts Waco way on the back foot here against Vero Beach. We'll have to see what they have next. They do have Zapdos and Scizor. Not the best options against these electric types. We'll have to see if Waco can make something out of it. Raichu still has the speed advantage here on the electric terrain. Once again, Waco going for the Dynamax. Dynamaxing Scizor, the team's namesake. Raichu with the Rising Voltage, big damage onto Scizor. And Tapu Koko with the Wild Charge. More big damage onto Zapdos. Now 
Zapdos with the Hurricane. And that's actually enough to take out Tapu Koko. And there's a Max Flutterby onto Raichu. Will that be it? No, Raichu holds on with the Focus Sash. Who will Barrel will bring out next? They are bringing out their X tier Mewtwo. Both of these Pokemon so low, Scizor and Zapdos. I'm not sure if they will be able to stop Vero here. Scizor, Max Guards, does protect itself, but Mewtwo with the Ice Beam will be able to pick up the KO onto Zapdos. And again, Scizor stuck facing down Mewtwo and Raichu of Vero. And Raichu with the rising voltage is enough to take down Scizor. And with that, Vero gets game one. A very convincing game. They had the speed on their side, and they just took it all the way. We'll have to see if they employ any other strategies here. Waco, I'm sure, will definitely want to bring Seismitoad. Seeing the power of those electric types. Let's see what the Waco Scizors lead off with. Seismitoad and Scizor this time. Against the Electric Terrain Duru. Duo. Guru. Duru. Once again. Toad now. Gonna need to do a lot of work here. Dynamax has come out. Bullet Punch onto Tapu Koko. Raichu with the Rising Voltage onto Scizor, which is enough to KO Scizor. Again, early KOs being huge. And Tapu Koko, U turns out pretty good damage onto Seismitoad. We'll have to see what Vero sends out here. Looks like it will be Mewtwo. Seismitoad with the Earth Power 
onto Raichu, bringing it down to Sash. We do see leftovers on Seismitoad, getting back some of that damage. Who will Waco send out next? Sending out Decidueye. So they brought a totally different team this time. See how Vero responds to this. Shadow Sneak could be an opportunity to Sidewire to pick up that quick KO on the Raichu. And then perhaps we'll see a Dynamax from Seismitoad here. On Vero's side. Would you protect Raichu here? I don't think this Raichu had protect on it. Yeah, Volt Switch, Quick Attack, Rising Voltage, and Focus Blast. Raichu with the Focus Blast. It does connect. On to Seismitoad. Mewtwo with the Ice Beam. On to Decidueye. Almost knocks it out. Ooh, critical hit there. Decidueye with the Poltergeist. Mewtwo's about to be attacked by its Assault Vest. Mewtwo barely hangs on. And Sizemto does connect with a Hydro Pump. A little bit of overkill. Onto that Raichu, but, you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. Looks like Vera will be bringing their last Pokemon, Azel. Still no Dynamaxes. Mewtwo with the Ice Beam. This will connect and be enough to take out Decidueye. And the Energy Ball onto Seismitoad. Another KO. Waco now finds herself in a 3 versus 1. As Kyogre their last Pokemon. Setting up the rain. Is it a Choice Scarf Kyogre? Choice Scarf with... Water Spout might be enough here. But we do see the Azelf Dynamaxing. No, no Choice Scarf, so Thunderbolt does big damage onto Kyogre. And the Max Lightning is gonna be enough. Kyogre goes down. And Vero takes a very solid two games to nothing. Defeating the Waco Scizors very handily. Let me know in the comments what you all thought of the battle. How could Waco have fought against this attack? Make sure you're subscribed as we 
have more battles all season. And as always, stay classy, society.